So Food Fun Finance, we are here in Swanee, Georgia at Q Raymond. Get excited because we're about to try some real Raymond. Let's go. Look at this, this looks crazy. This looks crazy awesome. This is gonna be amazing. Stay tuned. And as you already know how I do, trying to get the drinks out of the way with my best friend, which is a good friend. Stay tuned. Here at Koo Raymond, I'm having a blast already. The food is, as you can see, it's already out here. So we're gonna have to hurry up and get this stuff done as quick as possible because the food is going to keep coming. And we ordered quite a bit. So food from finance, stay tuned. Finance, you see where we at? This is the amazing lemonade. I think that's what it's called. Don't quote me on that. Cause we're kind of in a crunch cause we have all of this food and these shrinks coming to us, so I'm gonna tell you what this tastes like. This is some amazing lemonade. So on a scale from one to five, I rate this a five on a lemonade scale. This is what we came here for, the good friends, peach. So let's see what it tastes like. They gave us these cute little shot glasses. You see that? Isn't it cute? Isn't it cute? Look, 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 look. Yeah, boy. So this has 14% alcohol, so I see why it's shot glasses. Look like it's ever clear or something. Oh my goodness. Cheers. That's really good. So even though it is heavy on alcohol, it tastes kind of light on it. Stay tuned though. Refreshing the peach in Britney's exact words. It is so powerful. So this is really good. So this is a hit. So out of a five, we'll give it a six out of a five. That's how bust down it is. So Full Fun Finance, we are here with the passion sweet tea with all these goody fruits in there. Oh my goodness, you see that? Yes. Do you see that? Yes. Oh my goodness. So let's taste it. Let's see what it is. So I like all the fruity goodies on the inside of it, but the passion fruit, it's kind of there. So I would give it a 4.0, but you know what, stay tuned because we need to dive into this food ASAP. Food Fun Finance, we are here with shrimp tempura. So we have multiple different sauces. We have yum yum sauce, we have soy sauce, and then we have like a sesame sea sauce, but I'm gonna try it with this, the yum yum sauce. I actually like the yum yum sauce. And we're gonna try it with the soy sauce. Ooh. Their soy sauce is very salty. I'm not a big salt fan like I used to be. And then we're gonna try it with their sesame sauce. So I would go with this, the yum yum sauce or the sesame sauce. So I'll give this shrimp tempura a 3.8. It's real crispy, real light and crispy, real flavorful. Stay tuned Food Fun Finance because we got a lot more to dive into. So Food Fun Finance, I am not even going to flex. I'm not a fan of nobody's pork belly. So that's a piece of pork belly in there. That is a lot of fat. I'm not a big fan of eating just a lot of fat just for any type of reason. But for you guys, I will. Just to see what it tastes like. I don't see myself eating all of this though. That part right there is really good. Now that fat part, I don't care for. But this bread, it kind of reminds me of those little peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But it tastes pretty good. This meat right there tastes very well. It's very sweet. It reminds me of a barbecue. I wouldn't mind eating this by itself without the fat. So Food Fun Finance, we are here at the pot stickers, the chicken dumplings, whatever you want to call it, in whatever language you speak in. So look at that. So I'm gonna taste one plain for you. And this is chicken. Look at that. 
And I think you could eat this plain, but let's dip it in some sauce. Let's try the sauce. I like yum yum sauce, so. Not too bad with the yum yum sauce. A lot of people like it with soy sauce though. So let's try it out with soy sauce. I think the soy sauce is way too salty. Soy sauce is a little different. Sesame sauce. I'm just calling it sesame sauce, so don't quote me on that. I still like those two. So with this right here, mm, maybe it's just not for me. So I'll give it like a 3.5. But if you really like indulging in that, that might be for you. I really like this, this lemonade though. It's one of my favorite things. Wait till the end because then you'll find out what all I really, really, really liked and what I would suggest. Stay tuned. So Food Fun Finance, we are at the masterpiece. So this is Amu Rice Tonkastu. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get my Japanese, Korean, Eastern accent thing together. Please help me out. Anyways, to me it looked like egg fuliana because it was eggs. They sliced the egg and then it has rice underneath it and it has this sauce. So the eggs and the sauce reminded me of egg fuliana. If you're familiar with egg fuliana, then you'll know that kind of looks like this. But I'm about to taste it to let you know what it really tastes like and if it's like egg fuliana. So look, this is my spoon, right? But look, I want you to see what's in the middle. You see his rice? I think there's chicken and rice in there. See that? There's nothing but goodness in there. Nothing but awesomeness. I think I'm in love. Food from finance, stay tuned. So food from finance, what you came here for. The Raymond, look at this. Oh my goodness. So this is fried pork. There's chicken on the inside that looks like kale. Egg right there. I'm not too sure about this one. This looks like seaweed. You already know what it is. So let's get traditional on them. Let's just dive in, like, just like that. It's not working out right. <laughs> How do they do it? Ooh, that has so much flavor in it. Ooh, ooh, that has so much flavor. <laughs> Anyways, let me get to these chopsticks. That has a lot of flavor in it. Look at that. Let's go. These chopsticks is real. We in there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. We traditional now, baby. Yeah, boy. I'm trying to get it together. I'm lost for words. So these two right here were like neck and neck. But I'm gonna tell you right quick, this is really good. So that's a six out of a five. This right here is about a six out of six for sure. Like everything, like, oh my goodness. I'm gonna give that one a five. Cause this right here, like knocked me out of the park. Both of those most definitely just took me out of the game. Cause I want to stay on this, but this belongs to Brittany, unfortunately. My loss, cause I decided to choose this cause I thought it would have been like egg fuel. But I'm not saying that it's bad or anything, but it's, it's not as good as this. So this is what we came here for. Raymond, listen to the name, like, they are the professionals in making Raymond. So with that said, Food Fun Finance, stay tuned for the full review. Get out of my face, I'm about to eat. So Food Fun Finance, my good friends got the best of me. As you can see, I got two bottles to go. <laughs> so that just lets you know how good that stuff was, to put it in perspective. So you know it's your favorite time of the video where we go over the review. So we're gonna go over the environment, customer service, food and pricing. With the food, we're gonna give you roughly overall of the food. So um, with the environment, the environment was awesome. Like I really like the honeycomb seating and there's many different options. So you don't have to sit in the honeycomb, but I think this was just really cool to do. And especially for the viewers out there it's a real good experience for date night so with that the environment i give the environment a five so full fun finance put that in perspective there is seating everywhere you could do the honeycombs you could do seating at the bar there's a little bar that you could eat at where you get your food served right to then there's open seating on the floor then there's private seating behind some curtains on the side of it so they're seating everywhere so there is no discriminating on how you want to eat your food if you want to eat it open whatever 
most definitely. And did I mention that they have the robots that bring food to you? Since we're in the honeycomb, we did not get to experience that because the robots can't come up the stairs. So with that being said, 5.0 for the environment. Let's go. So customer service, moving right along to that. I really liked the customer service. So I went out to the car to go get my ID and I came back and like it was the same friendly greeting from everybody that I got the first time. And they were very knowledgeable in everything that is here. I was able to get everything that I wanted and I think it was a good experience. So customer service I would say is a 4.8 most definitely across the board. Let's go. So now moving right along into the food your favorite part so you know we started doing something new where we give you the ratings of the food throughout the video but now you'll get the overall rating of all the food so we gave this place a four for the overall food my favorite thing was the fried pork and it was like a toss-up between the ramen and the egg over the rice like i really was like rice takatsu i really like that so it was a toss-up but you know we gave it the overall four and i think this is a great place for you to come dine i mean it's, it's not bad food whatsoever so food from finance four point stars going across the board let's go so food from finance we are done we had the pricing for you 132 dollars that's because we indulged in a lot of things this is what weighed us down they were uh, about 13 bucks a piece and we got three so with that being said, you know, the pricing is fair. I'll get the pricing four point stars across the board. So full phone finance, make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you drop some likes. Make sure you drop some comments and let us know how we're doing. And make sure you eat some good food. Remember now, full phone finance is where fun, fun, and flavor collide. Let's go. Finance, make sure you do me a slight favor, a real important favor, so we can keep this channel going, keep this channel growing. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you comment, make sure you share with your friends, make sure you're here every single Wednesday and Saturday, 7 p.m., watching these videos that we bring bringing to you. Make sure you travel too. Let's go. Man.